brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Saints and the Panthers and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Coming up, we've got an ultra-important divisional round matchup in the NFC as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to... to four berths in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where you see it, then to work hard and put the first down, and you tend to start them out when you do that. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. He still finds it. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Left side here, that's complete to get him. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll run. It's Henry. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all this stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Oh, now Godwin with a chance to run it. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Tackle on the play by a Christian Benford. They work now on second and nine. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Lawrence. Hard throw, incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Myers' kick is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. 
every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2020 from LSU. It's Joe Burrow. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from it. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. From the 29, here's second down and three. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. On second down, here's Burrow. That escapes the sack. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Third and five. And Burrow going to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, we could talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Throw left side complete. That's McLaughlin. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty, a lot of times is inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. Burrow backs it forward. It's a jet sweep. Oh, uh, this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Here's second and ten. And they'll bring Judy in motion right. On second down. It's McLaughlin. And he's going to get about four down inside the ten to the nine. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time. And that last run, they just cut right through him. As the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now it's the Panthers' second all-time leading scorer kicking here in a different uniform, Graham Gano. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Gano's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And no thought of a return here for Hines. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. 
Most of them wanted that with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick other than the extra point. That's it. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoff. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. On third down, Burrow. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing in too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this returnable for Hines. A good return there, 17 yards. And it will be the Panthers ball first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. This will go to him in the out wide. And past the 40. The 40 is out of the Lawrence. Starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Just the first quarter of attack. They're going to be so important going forward. They've got to love it plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you, from my days, I remember being in college and running all off season about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I missed him, they were going to be Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Here's Lawrence. He's got his man. It's Andrews. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. Lawrence will throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. They can like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Three-three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and eight. 
Inside handoff, Henry. Fights through it and running with power here. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. 73 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. Well, he's broken off some big time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you get the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To the right side, this is Edwards. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Henry up the middle. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Maybe in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now whistles, flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now Lawrence. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Myers' kick is good. They will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's six to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. Got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. First down, Saints. They'll run on first down. McLaughlin. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down again. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense. But under pressure, they got him again. Big Shaq Lawson gets the sack there. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody will press it a little bit. This might be the case. On second down, Lawrence on the move to his run. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down, threw a fastball, but that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. 
When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Play action, it's Burrow. Here's a diving catch right side. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Burrow. Steps away. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So the penalty erases their earlier loss. Now it's second and eight. Here's Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. That's just flat out a terrific play because it's rare that you see a hitch route batted down. That means someone read that one really well and was right on the spot when the ball got to the receiver. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So one first down on that drive and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to put this one away. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Hines now on the return. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Lawrence is thrown into the hands of Andrews. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lawrence on third down. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's McLaughlin, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. 
going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. A punt of 46, a return of five. And it will be first and ten as they take over. And the Panthers coming out now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. They begin with Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stumped up in the backfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here's Jackson. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Lamb will go in motion. On second down now, it's McLaughlin. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Burrow. It's caught inside the 25. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. We saw these guys have some big plays in their wild card win last week, and they're certainly going to need to continue to put up plays like we just saw there if they hope to continue to move on in these playoffs. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Now get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. David Njoku, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Saints will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Gano the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. The Panthers are going to go back on offense here late in this first half. 
And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten now, it's Lawrence. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds, but now before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And to throw again is Lawrence. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Lawrence, the short throw caught by Andrews. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach... All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This the first of four divisional round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other divisional round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store. And it's going to be one heck of a battle, that's for sure. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. Okay, we were Coach, certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points three. as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. And we will not have a back here as the second half starts with a touchback. And the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Taken down Josh Allen collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Now it's Burrow. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he'll be taken down before he gets into enemy territory. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down. McLaughlin. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Holding. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because, remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion, and sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. 
It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Brings up second down at the 46 yard line. And they go play action now. Burrow. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Well, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now throwing on third down there. Connect. And so many times we look at the opening drop in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. And this will be taken at the 13. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And they will take over first and 10. The Panthers offense now. They head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. Now he just danced away from that one defender on his way to a gain of about seven yards. Now second and three. won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two third and one well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly i love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football and he is going to have the panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion we often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. All right, first down. Henry with a little bit of running room. Nice gain. We'll get about six yards there. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, it's Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to convert by 20 there on third and one. Got to say, I was really surprised to see him Charles come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A first down carry for Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. But not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young he did it again there. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Edwards. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Here's Lawrence to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Out is Myers for the Seahawk field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. That gets it back with a single point. It's now 10-9. 
So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. No, they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat. But they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. The Saints coming out now to take the field. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. The give is to McLaughlin. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup. First down. Beckler, they run left side, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Burrow on play action. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. 38-yard line, second and nine. Burrow looking to pass. That's complete. It's Collins. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. First down, We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Now Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 39. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the handoff, McLaughlin. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. That'll go for a gain of seven. And third and one now. Here's McLaughlin. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. And that's a great run, and this is where you've got a running back who feels like he needs to take over this football game. You're in the second half, you've got the lead, you're looking at moving on to the conference championship, and he's got to be saying, just keep giving me the ball, and I'll get us home. On the screen, this is Eckler, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only three there on the screen at second down. Burrow now off the bootleg. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. 
One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Burrow will throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Panthers are right back in this football game. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field. And this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here. And the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. And here, he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes that kept hitting us with was, let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Lawrence to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come right up there. You tell me this guy about the first quarter. You come up and think it about And D-line going down the first quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On first down, Lawrence. This will go to Henry out wide. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up second down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. Down inside the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. 25 yards that time. And here we are in the fourth quarter. Barker to watch him drive to what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Neutral zone infraction, defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap jump too quickly so the balls move to about the one after the penalty first and goal Hines is in the end zone for a Panthers touchdown and this is the type of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortune it's been a tough battle they've been out there for a long time but this was a question of who can wear down who and that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. The Panthers will line up for the that toss from the left. It's Edwards. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point 
two-point lead. They get the conversion. And Charles, when you only have two yards to go, what do you think of the toss play? Because initially it kind of sets you back a little bit. It does, especially if you get a lot of pressure coming towards you. But if you can get to the edge, if you seal the edge with your blocking, often your tackle or your tight end on what they call the play side where the ball goes, you can get to the corner, and that allows those big guys to get out ahead of the runner. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And this is a unit that needs to get in gear if they want to play for a conference championship next weekend. Down seven here in the fourth and a very critical drive upcoming. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw pulled in by Lamb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Got a man, it's Judy complete. Now he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. On the ground, here's McLaughlin. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who's shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now it's Burrow. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 19. A good pick up there, a 22. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he went for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Second down and three. and goal. Here's Burrow. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown New Orleans. C.D. Lamb from eight yards out. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Both these teams fighting for their playoff lives. All tied, fourth quarter, as the kick is away here. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. 
And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game, fourth quarter. A lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. On play action, Lawrence. That'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Lawrence. That is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's Jackson to return. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. From the 35, here's second and nine. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. That's into the hands of McLaughlin. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now it's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now flags will come in, and I think this is against the Saints up front. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. A carry from the ground And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll set up to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Carolina offense about ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're not going to get a nice trip and help themselves out. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Playoff lives at stake. Boy, this is a big one. Third down. Connected with Hill. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. On the return, Jackson. Jackson on the return. 
The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Burrow. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field. Now, that incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. The Burroughs throw here into the hands of Jones. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw, Lawrence. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now second down in a few inches. Lawrence hitting the ball is free. And that was both picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumble can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, have them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. And incomplete on the deep ball. The final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. has been and now over time will decide who goes on to play in the NFC championship and they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25 and now the Saints get set to trot out there and Charles a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out then they punted the football yeah and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here they've got to get going a running play there, going to get 10 and a quick first down. A nice start for them here to overtime, and, and maybe the plan here is don't do anything too crazy, don't try for some big play, Charles. Just move the chains, put the pressure on the defense. Well, these early first downs are certainly nice confidence builders as they begin overtime because even though you've just played four quarters, the feeling's entirely different when you take the field in OT because you just want to settle in, as you suggested, Keep the ball moving and rely on your opponent to make that first big mistake. And it'll be tackled at about the 35. Four yards there on the carry. Gets it back to second and 11. Out quickly to Judy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Saints. They'll run. It's McLaughlin. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Brings up second and 
Now Burrow. He's got it to Collins complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 39. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh shot of downs. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, not get away. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Burrow looking to pass. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. First down. Here's Burrow. That is caught at the seven. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coaches always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this thing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect him to attack on defense and not sit back. Playoff football at its best. Remember, a touchdown on this drive isn't a game winner as they work on second down here. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have police. A touchdown does not end it, remember, but it sure would give him a leg up. It's first and goal here. Burrow throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now it's the backup, Winston. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Jameis to throw it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Back to back incompletions of what was once a nice try. Stop that move. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. And no thought of a return here for Hines. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. They begin the drive with Hines. And he's brought down, giving this one up to the 45. It'll be a game of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Now we'll see what Lawrence can do in overtime. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in the quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Lawrence is right complete there to Thomas. And 
this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 45-yard line. That will go for 20 on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A field goal on this drive would extend the game. A touchdown, of course, would win it. It's first and ten. From the gun, they go to Edwards. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away. Down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play. Obviously, that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. That'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. That's a nice job there defensively of being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. So as they head to the sidelines, we'll head to this break on EA Sports. So on now comes the kicker. It's Jason Myers. This a long one to try and keep us going in overtime. And his kick is good. A wrenching moment, but he's able to bang it through from long distance. And they match an earlier OT field goal with one of their own. Just a big-time kick there from a big-time kicker. I like how you use big-time because we usually say that about position players, don't we? Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Well, that goes for kickers as well. And guess what? We're on the sudden death now. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles. <laughs> My palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime and as we know from here on out any points win this football game i'll throw you a towel as well partner i've got one for myself but let's face it our nerves our pressure nothing compared to what's going on on that field both of the field goal kickers active here early can one of them become the hero and end this thing and he can muster only a couple here to the 24. this now a third and four Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. That's complete to the fullback, Ricard. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They go play action. Winston. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. From just outside of field goal range. Three points, all that's needed. Here's first and ten. And the pressure gets there, and that stop goes down. Jack Lawson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Under pressure, and they got to him again. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. I think he saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's the backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That old line. Now a third down forward and misses the target incomplete. The defense does its job. Now they're going to get the ball here in overtime with a chance to win it. Major League kudos to them because to get the ball back in this spot, everything was on them. It had to happen. 
and they pulled it off. They'll get it back for their offense with a chance to win. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kid that can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Third down and one from the shotgun. Lawrence, and this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down. So hold the celebration. This one's coming back. Holding. Exceeding And that hold goes to wipe away a big return. And I know from the outside in, you think, why are you holding? Just make sure you don't grab anyone. But you want to keep people away from your return guy. And sometimes those sudden moves, that speed, you reach out and inadvertently do something, and the penalty flag comes out. Winston now to throw on first down. He's got Eckler. And he'll be out but able to get it up past the 45. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he can... Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther side. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Now it's a bootleg with Winston. He'll get the hook up there to Woods. And he'll be down at the 46. And he goes from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Well, welcome back to the divisional round of the playoffs. A second overtime moments away. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this run. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back out. So it all comes down to the right foot of Graham Gano. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. So we'll take a break with them and be right back. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This would put them in the NFC title game. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. 
And looking at it from the perspective of the losing side here in this divisional round, it, it all ends so abruptly, doesn't it? A few hours ago, you've got all this hope and anticipation of maybe a deep run, and now you're out of it. Well, let's applaud the team that won, and rightly so. They, they're moving on. They still have a chance to get to the big game. But let's not bury the team that lost. We, I think I do a lousy job of illuminating what a great year they had. Let's face it, when it's all said and done, they were one of eight teams left with a chance to get to and win the Super Bowl. That's a pretty darn good season. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.